Last week, CTO of the Russian internet company Yandex Ilya Sigalovich made his first appearance at the next web conference 2012 in Amsterdam. During the first day of the event, he took part in a panel discussion about startups working on emerging markets, such as CES countries or Latin America. After that, we had a short conversation. This is your, this is your first, uh, first time at the next web. Uh, how do you like it here so far? Uh, I think it's a great conference and uh, lots of interesting startups and uh, great audience uh, all over the Europe. So, uh, not, not only for participate in, uh, in this uh, panel about emerging uh, markets today, so what's the, what's the main message you wanted to bring to the audience with this? My message is uh, go, go to Russia and uh, try your business there. I think uh, Russia needs more, Russia and also more widely, uh, like uh, Ukraine and uh, other CS countries, they need more interesting startups uh, from, from Europe and the United States, because I think uh, the opportunities are great and uh, just don't be afraid and come and, and, and try it. Why do you think that uh, CES uh, countries uh, need more startups uh, from outside? Uh, what's the problem with uh, growing uh, all startups uh, in this country? There's no problem growing all startups, but I think uh, uh, we require more, uh, more high level of interesting competition, a more strong competition from interesting companies coming to Russia. And, uh, I think it's not that hard to translate the interface and not that hard to translate uh, some other, to localize some other things uh, to make uh, the make app and, uh, and, the, and the things better for Russia. And also it will raise uh, the level of development inside Russia because, uh, because it requires some you know, high level. But in Russia, and uh, as I understood from the panel in Brazil as well, there are many uh, companies that just make uh, copies of uh, successful uh, Western startups. Is this a big problem, uh, in your opinion, for uh, Western startups uh, uh, to enter the Russian market? I mean, copying is not a, is not, is not a sin, first of all. I, I'm, not, I, I'm very agnostic to copying or not copying. Uh, the question here is, uh, uh, was, uh, or is your startup, uh, is your services really um, you know, required, really, really um, you know, needed uh, to, uh, by, by, uh, by your audience? And uh, the focus at uh, targeting or to your audience uh, is probably the, the key here, not, uh, not uh, is it like uh, how fast you copy it, uh, why combinator, one week or, or no, three weeks, it's too late, you know, it doesn't matter actually. Because what matters is not, not the copying something, but uh, some particular smart idea, but look carefully at what these people need now and, uh, and help them right now. Because uh, the environment in which uh, 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 Russian, Russian internet exists is already defined uh, pretty much. So you can see what, what is missing here, what is the missing chain here, what is, what is something that people probably will need because they use this particular tool and you can improve on top of that. So it's, it's kind of, um, it's, it's a moving target. You cannot bring some service and boom, you know, into this market and see how it flows. You should look carefully what is really needed and, and then go with that. So you transmit the method that uh, Western startups should not be afraid uh, in uh, entering the uh, Russian market. Maybe you have something to help them? Or? Uh, we are going to, to do that uh, in uh, several months from now. We are going to announce uh, a program, but it's too early to say. But uh, I, I hope we will help uh, uh, the Western startup and the European and Israeli startups to come to Russian market. Okay, and now a question about a uh, completely different topic. Uh, I remember uh, seeing your uh, tweet uh, for uh, Electronista and Guardian that they made mistakes in quoting you. So what did you actually say and what you didn't say? Uh, well, uh, you know, it's a good question. I, actually, it was a long uh, conversation with a group of people and uh, um, at the end there was a topic uh, somewhere in between different people. And so it was uh, one of the journalists who was kind of taking some phrases and words out of long conversation and putting into one, you know, sort of interview like I, I was against Google or something like that. It's, it's, it's a little different as I view it. I think uh, Google, is, first of all, is a great company uh, and uh, it works uh, a lot to open the internet. That's an important statement that I, it didn't sound in, the, in that article. Another story is that the conversation and dialogue between Google and Facebook and Apple is not, uh, is not my, uh, you know, area of, of uh, how to say, it's not my competence. I'm not competent in that dialogue. I'm not going to interrupt or, or say something in between. It's 
totally out of my uh, scope. And the third thing I wanted to tell is that um, uh, Yandex itself was always for for openness and and, and uh, for uh, you know making uh, other searches available. If you look at the search engine result page of Yandex, you'll you, you'll know this uh, link to Google. So we'll never we will we never uh, were hit. Uh, hit other search engines from uh, from our users because we thought always since 90s that uh, one thing should cannot make it all. So Yandex is not the cinema for internet. It's just a good search engine, but there are some others. Uh, you you may not find something at Yandex, but you may find something in Wikipedia or somewhere else. I need some particular query, some particular search engine would be better, and uh, that's uh, how we treat ourselves. And I believe that is a great way to treat. It. So you would basically uh, like uh, Google to do the same and uh, give uh, users uh, a possibility and opportunity to get search results not, from it's another not, it's agent. It's not my competence to, to advise them uh, what, what they should do. I just uh, I am just expressing my uh, my attitude to the whole issue. I'm not saying I'm not advising anyone. To do it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.